Uh, today is uh, uh, June 28th, 2020. Uh, the book uh, today, we are uh, preaching text is Ruth, chapter 4, verse 14 through 17. I will read it for you and uh, preach uh, on, on this text. Uh, then the woman said to Naomi, Bless the Lord who has not left you this day without a Redeemer. And may his name be renowned in uh, Israel. He shall be to you a restorer of life and a nourisher of your old age. For your daughter-in-law who loves you, who is more to you than seven sons, has given birth to him. Then the Naomi took the ch child and laid him on her lap and be became his nurse. And uh, Women of the neighbor gave him a name, saying, A son has been born to Naomi. They named him uh, Obed. He was the father of the uh, Jesse and the father of David. Amen. Uh, today, title is Who is Your, your Redeemer? Uh, Redeemer, uh, it original Greek, uh, Hebrew word is Goel. Uh, so I search the old uses goel in the text goel is the, the meaning uh, when you look at it uh, it is used uh, 21 times so chapter 2 20 chapter 3 9 uh, verse 12 two times chapter 4 1 3 4 4 5 times 6 4 times 8 14 like this it's a total 21 times in small book, uh, there are 21 times the word Goel is used, uh, pretty much. So as you know, the, this word is used so many times. That means very important words. So you, we, we should understand this word, the meaning of this word. I think this word is a key word of this uh, text, so important. So as we know, uh, Goel is like, uh, the, it, uh, it means that Ga'al, Ga'al, Ga'al is a redeem, redemption, redeem, who purchased it, restores it. So anyone who lost their property and or maybe have uh, anyone who has debts uh, cannot be able to uh, restore. Those kind of person, anyone, the close relative is supposed to restore redeem all deaths and uh, properties like that. So Goel is like a person who is able to restore uh, their family, uh, properties, and everything. It, those kind of person, we call it Goel in the Old Testament. So this, uh, this one is used uh, in Isaiah. This one is used also on Pentateuch many times, Goel. Uh, uh, Bedam, you know, who is uh, uh, able to redeem uh, the blood. Uh, uh, sometimes, uh, uh, like in the Old Testament, uh, it is used for like uh, uh, revenge. Anyone who, you know, did uh, on purpose or by mistake, uh, if you just uh, killed someone, uh, he's supposed to sort of flee to the city, uh, protect the city like that. So anyone uh, like that, Goel, Bedam, uh, that means, you know, uh, who is redeem the blood. It's a revenger, kind of uh, used that way. Uh, other uses, most of them, is uh, really who is uh, able to restore, redeem uh, anyone's property and uh, family. So very important uh, subject and uh, uh, the meaning. All right, I will read it in Hebrew uh, pretty quick uh, in this text. Baruch Adonai Asher lo hishevit lak goel hayom va ikare shemo ve Israel ve haya lak le meshiv nefesh ule kalkel et shevatecha shevat shevatecha. It means really uh, the woman's uh, confession to Naomi. This is a really uh, restoration story. This is beautiful. I think one of the most, uh, I think, a beautiful story in the Bible is uh, the uh, the book of Ruth. As you know, this story is so beautiful. Uh, you know, 
think about, and uh, especially chapter 1, verse 12, they are, you know, telling us about the whole story. As you know, I will read it, verse, uh, chapter 1, uh, verse 1 through 5. In the days when the judge ruled, there was a famine in the land, and men of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in country of Moab. He, had, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of, name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Melon and uh, Kilion. They were Ephratites and from Bethlehem and Judah. They went, to, uh, they went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died. She was left with her two sons. These two Moabite wives, the name of the one of the Orpha and the name of the, the other Ruth, they lived. Yeah, and uh, yeah, they lived uh, there about 10 years. Yeah. And both uh, Melion and uh, Kilion uh, died, so that the woman was left without her two sons and her uh, husband. This is a background. As you know, we have known pretty much this story. You know, there were two, uh, one couple and with two children. They went to uh, Moab, and then uh, husband died, and uh, his, uh, his, uh, her sons, two sons died. Only they have uh, two daughters in law. And, and uh, Naomi became bankrupt, and lost everything, and uh, nothing. Also, uh, they didn't have uh, no uh, one who make uh, money at the time. So it was a terrible situation. All kind of uh, financial bankruptcy her experience. Desperate situation. So same way uh, we just experience uh, in our lives uh, so difficult situation financially. Sometimes we are losing our spouse and uh, uh, member of our family and you can lose or you can experience those kind of experiences, difficulties. We have a uh, uh, losing job. Anyone who doesn't have a, a job and uh, doesn't have any income, and financially, he, he may also experience difficult situation, very pretty much. In this kind of in uh, decrement, we can experience. This is the situation. But however, uh, that's why Naomi made a determined to just go back her uh, country. But however, uh, one up, uh, Orpha, uh, one daughter-in-law, just uh, uh, just uh, go away, uh, went away. But however, and uh, she insisted go back another daughter in law, whose name is, as you know, Ruth. She didn't want to go back. She said, if you look at verses 16 and 17, but Ruth says, do not urge me to leave you or to return from following you. But where you go, I will go. And where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. Where, uh, wherever or where you die, I will die. And there will I, will, uh, I, will I be buried. May the Lord do so to me, and more than if anything, but death departs from me. This is a real determined decision and witnessing and confession. So, we do not just to think about uh, Ruth just to learn, okay, uh, she has an uh, uh, emotional uh, affection to her mother-in-law, especially not to Naomi. It, it is not just a human relationship. It's beyond the human relationship, human emotion and love, affection, you know. You can uh, find one verse. If you look at verse 16, she said, this is a beautiful story. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you stay, I will stay. Wherever you sleep, I will, I will sleep. So, I will follow you. Yeah, you know that beautiful song. I will follow you. You know, it's a very uh, famous song. I will follow you. 
So this is beautiful. But however, important confession there. Your people shall be my people. Your God and uh, here my, will be my God. This uh, confession is so important. Ruth is uh, learned uh, uh, her faith from uh, Naomi. She learned not just uh, having good relationship with her mother-in-law. She learned. She just uh, uh, come to, uh, came to have a knowledge about God, who God is. She cannot uh, just uh, give up God, who God is. God is uh, so great. And, uh, and the people, especially chosen people, and they received grace and mercy, chesed, from God. That's why she was uh, so liked to follow to Naomi, the country, from Moab to, uh, you know, uh, uh, Naomi's uh, uh, homeland. This is uh, beautiful. So, even though you lost everything, we are in uh, a similar situation. Many people, God is allowing us uh, sometimes a misfortune, we call it, or a disaster, or maybe hard, hardship, hard situation, financial problem, or losing member of your family, a very difficult situation, sometimes disease or death or whatever, and sometimes just a fire, get, getting fired over your job. Just a, if you don't have a job, you will see bankruptcy. You don't have any income, and you will experience difficult situations, surroundings, and you just complain about and then uh, curse others. But however, just uh, listen her confession, how beautiful it is. The Ruth's confession. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. What does it mean? She found uh, the answer, how beautiful it is. She found the answer, who is a redeemer in her life, life, you know. We should find the, the redeemer. Anyone who really, who can help you, your life. You know, life is like, uh, even though you have a friend, friend cannot help you. Uh, only sympathy, you know, have the same mind or he can just share your pain together. That kind of thing, he can, he may do it, he might do it. But that's it. That's a human friend. You have to remember, anyone, you should understand who is there, who is Redeemer, Goel, for your life. Ruth knew that. Ruth just uh, uh, came to have knowledge about God. It's God. My mom's God will be my God. My mom's people will be my people. She recognized who God is. This is so important. Even you are in danger in this situation, difficult situation, it doesn't matter. We have the Redeemer. We have uh, who is able to redeem your situation, your sin, deaths of your sin, and uh, your... Uh, so when we just... Uh, Confess our uh, Lord's prayer, you know, forgive, forgive us our debts, as also we have forgiven our debtors. What does it mean? Anyone who sins against us, and uh, anyone who sins against you, they have debts, you know, they should pay something. So, sinning is not just a problem, guilting something, it beyond, it has uh, also debts penalty and should pay for something. So if you understand the Old Testament background, uh, there are two kinds of meaning regarding sinning against uh, God. You know, for instance, Goel is uh, emphasizing uh, such a forgiving or uh, remission sins. Not only that, it's talking about uh, redeem, restores, you know, so when you, de uh, when you make something and uh, it also belongs to the matter of uh, money, finance problem, how can you solve it? For instance, if you get a fine, like uh, traffic, you know, uh, just uh, you just uh, have any uh, traffic fine, and you should pay for it. Same thing. Anyone who lost and uh, their job, 
uh, anyone, he needs to get a uh, income, and uh, he ha- he needs to restore the problem. So redeemer is not like a just a, just a forgiving your sins. Jesus Christ is a who is able to forgive your sins, you got your debts and everything. Not only that, only penalty you supposed to pay for it. And he will just uh, restore, redeem. So, deliverer's other name is Redeemer. Jesus is a Redeemer. Really, Job, you know, the man of Job, in the book of Job, he talked about, oh, my Redeemer liveth. You know? Goer, same thing, Goer. In the Bible, so many times, Bible is talking about emphasizing Goer. So, who... Is the goer and the reflecting the New Testament perspective? Yeah, the goer is Jesus Christ, who died for us, who just uh, give us a remission and redeem, able to re- redeem all things. So the story of uh, Ruth is not just talking about in her time, in her context. It also, for foreshadowing in the future, they will be goer. Who was goer for Naomi, especially the you know Ruth, as you know Boaz. If you look at the chapter two, it talks about Boaz. Boaz was a goer for the family, desperate and bankrupt the family. They didn't have any uh, hope at all. Anyone who doesn't have a hope in the future. I have nothing to do. I have uh, no one who is able to deliver me in those circumstances who is able to rescue you. Only Jesus Christ. This is a gospel in the Old Testament. So important. We are thinking about gospel is, all, oh, is uh, only New Testament. Absolutely not. There is gospel in the New Testament. That's right. But you have to remember, the gospel already, good news is uh, many times used for shadowing, you know, the fulfillment of Jesus Christ in the book of Isaiah. Anyone who is bearing good news, basar, basar is a, a sharing good news in Hebrew. Anyone is blessed is, you know, many times is uh, talking about referring to the sharing good news, anyone or the good news. What is good news? Good news is that Jesus Christ is Redeemer. He is able to forgive your sin. Also remission of your debt of your sin. You support the faith for it. Always Old Testament talking about not only forgiving. You know, if you remember five, I think, uh, uh, offering, you remember Ola. A burnt offering, minha, cereal offering, you know, shalamin, shalam is like a peace offering, yeah? and then uh, yasham and uh, uh, recompense, you know, offering, yashem or hatat is a sin offering. If five offerings talking about two things, especially sin offering, hatat is like uh, forgiving things, but yashem is like. Uh, uh, is like a uh, uh, compensation should the pe- should uh, be paid for something. So all sins is uh, relating not only forgiving things, it also included also paying for something. Jesus died because he paid for your death by shedding blood on the cross for you. That's why we call him as a redeemer. You know, Goel. Who, uh, the Goel of uh, Ruth was uh, Boaz. Boaz was, uh, as you know, in a genealogy of David. Obed and then, you know, genealogy. Jesse, uh, genealogy. He is in there. And then, as you know, uh, also Ruth was included in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Not only the last part of Ruth uh, telling about, about that, not only that. When you re- read the book of Matthew, chapter 1, it, there is a period, you know, you, you just read uh, uh, Ruth and uh, it comes 
uh, comes up and uh, talking about she is included in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. What does it mean? You wish you, God is uh, calling you to be included in the genealogy of Jesus Christ. You are called to be members of Jesus Christ. You are called to be the people, the nation of uh, the kingdom of God. You are invited. That's why Jesus is our Redeemer. He is uh, our Redeemer in our lives. How much, no matter what, you are experiencing difficult situation, difficult hardship, you are just uh, going through, it doesn't matter. Most of people, they are experiencing financial problem. Yeah. Every day, every, most of the people, they are experiencing it. Losing job. It happens all the time. Don't worry about it. Sometimes we are suffering because of disease. Your health problem. Losing your spouse or your member of a family member. Yeah, that's right. Any kind of thing. Same thing. It exactly happened to the family of Naomi and Ruth. They are bankrupt the family. Nothing else. They didn't have any income. Just that they went to, to make money, you know, just a daily job, going out, uh, just uh, harvesting, and anything, just the uh, sheaves, or uh, just uh, left away, trying to, uh, just uh, following, and then uh, uh, so pick it up, uh, left over, you know. And uh, purposely, Boaz, uh, take it away, you know, uh, like uh, the ears of uh, corn, and like a, uh, Purposely, in order to eat it, in order to make money like that. So same same thing. We have uh, so uh, may you may go through so difficult situation. Remember, so many people are just uh, going through spiritually different different difficult situation like efficient. And you were dead. Chapter 2, talking about trespasses and sins in which you once walked and following the course of this world, following the prince of uh, the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience, among whom we all once lived in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desire of the body and the mind and the, and the world by nature, children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But God, being rich in mercy, because of the great love with which He loved us, even when we were dead in our tra- trespasses, made you alive uh, together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. This is so remarkable. You know? So, so great and uh, gracious God's uh, doing. We are dead. You are bankrupt in spiritually. So first time when I read uh, the book of Ruth, uh, it really didn't have any, uh, you know, affection or just a feeling from that story. It uh, it really not relate to me. But in the lifelong learn, in when you live, you know, like a uh, half, half, uh, uh, you know. Hundred years, and you will experience uh, this kind of experience. Sometimes I don't have a background. I don't have a background. Uh, who is able to? Uh, who is like a coer? My father or mother's side, and relative, anyone, friend, anyone. You know, anyone is uh, sponsoring me, and, and I cannot find. But you can confess like the confession of a Ruth. And uh, your people will be my people. Your God, God will be my will be. Your God will be my God. When you have that faith, you have hope. You are desperate. You are just uh, you are dead. But the love of God just uh, change your life. It's a beautiful story. This is this experience is happening today and to your life. Who is your goer? Who is your redeemer? He died for you. He just uh, solved all problem. Not only that, financially. So today, scripture talking about beautiful, uh, you know, the verse uh, in here uh, talking about. If you look at that, not only he is uh, uh, our 
you know, the goer, nourisher, or restore. Yeah. There is two more words. What does it mean, not, uh, restore? That means a restoration of your family, financial property like that. You know, Naomi lost everything, but Boaz become. He purchased for that family. And then uh, her lineage or her genealogy continue to, you know, uh, to follow, uh, not stop the uh, next generation because of, uh, uh, as you know, Ruth. That means uh, uh, she will have another children and continue to, uh, continue to have a lineage, you know. Uh, so this kind of thing is a restoration in Hebrew, and meshiv, rest, restore, meshiv, re restore. Goel is not just uh, who is able to uh, solve all problems as a redeemer, he is a restore. In other words, also karker. Karker is not like a nourisher. Nourisher mean, means take care of our needs. Every day we need something. But Bible is talking about, don't worry about anything. Do not be anxious, anything. Make a known yourself to God. He will take care of everything. James talking about, if you have any burden, just lay down upon Him. He will take care of your all worry, anxiety. This is a promise of God. He will take care of everything. Car care. Seek first His kingdom and His righteousness. All things given unto you. Matthew 6, 33, talking about seek his kingdom and his righteousness. All things will be given unto you. He's, uh, this kind of thing, car care. Every day we need something. We need money. We need, uh, uh, we need uh, you know, the, uh, uh, to buy, person to eat, and uh, uh, the urgent thing you need. This kind of car care, he is a nourisher. He will take care of uh, everything. He will provide your financial need. He will also just provide anything you uh, need every day. Don't worry about it. Goel is not just uh, taking care of our ontological problem. He is uh, taking care of uh, your outward, you know, this we are living in this world. He should take care of a financial problem. Also, what are we going to do in the future? We should, what kind of person we should meet? Who is able to sponsor us and who is supporting us? Meshiv, restore. God is a restore. Not only he is a goel, he is a restore. He is a care who will nourish your everything you need. How beautiful story is that? This is a confession from others, you know. They saw that, oh, they are witnessing to the Naomi. Oh, you lost everything. Your name was, you just when you come back, you named yourself Mara. Bitterness. My life is a bitterness. You know, I failed. I'm broken. Nothing else. Financial bankrupt. Financially bankrupt. But Naomi, God restored her family through Ruth. Goer. God just uh, uh, give uh, Goer, their family, who is a Boaz, restored uh, her family. And uh, also they included in the family of Dave, King David and also Jesus Christ. Uh, the family of Jesus Christ, we are the same. This is not story only for the uh, Ruth and Naomi's family. This invite, this story invites all of you. Come to Him. Jesus is inviting you. Inviting you. In the Bible, so many times, Bible, Bible is talking about His, uh, his invitation is uh, applicable to everyone. But uh, Jesus is uh, inviting you. In Romans 10, 13, and is a quoting from the Joel 2, 32. In Hebrew text uh, uh, 35, uh, chapter 3, verse 5. But in our verse, it is a 2, 32. As you know, anyone, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. 
Call his name. You will be saved. Oh Lord, save me. You are redeemer. You are the only one who is able to restore, restore my situation and who will uh, nourish in my circumstances. Believe it. He, he made it. He is the only one. Our redeemer, your family, redeemer, your redeemer. He is the redeemer. All of people, anyone who needs help, call his name. The name of the Lord. This is a mysterious, mysterious blessing. Jesus is the salvation. Jesus is the answer for all humanity who are struck, struck, struggling with a problem, sin problem, or financial problem, in worldly problem, in living in this world. Come to hear. Jesus is inviting you. Come unto me. And then Matthew eleven twenty eight talking about come to me all who labor and the heavy burden laden I will give you a rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will be find the rest for your souls Jesus inviting all the people and uh, anyone who is uh, bearing. And the heavy burden, so many people are taking worldly cross and burdens. They are invited. That's why this is the gospel in New Testament. Jesus came to this world, inviting all the people who are, who are suffering from sins and all worldly problems. Still, he is inviting. This is the gospel, you know. Jesus is aware for all humanity. How beautiful a story is that? Old Testament. Long time ago, before the coming of Jesus Christ, like almost uh, you know, 10,000 or 14, you know, 1,300 years ago. Long time ago. You know, 35, almost uh, 3,000 years ago. This story happened in humanity. How beautiful story is that? This is not story only for the family of Ruth and Naomi. It's story... It represents and it illustrates us. Anyone who has a similar problem, a worse problem, they are welcome to go where. There is a go where for your life. Jesus Christ. We should remember, Jesus is not only in the New Testament. He was already in the Old Testament. He was, uh, he he's a, uh, his teaching through the his teaching of a book of John, he was from the creation. He was goer from the first time before the coming of to the incarnation. He already goer for our life. Jesus is uh, inviting you. What kind of circumstance or surroundings or difficulty difficulties are you experiencing right now? Don't worry about it. Just to confess like a uh, root, your God will be my God. The people talking about, or the Bible's God, and the promise of God in the Bible will be my God. He will be my God. He will be my God in my life. He will take care of my life. He is the only one. He is the only Redeemer who forgives us and remisses our, my sins away, my burdens away. My death's way. Don't worry about it. Sometimes just to press many you know, burdens and uh, down you. And uh, we have uh, so uh, heavy burdens and pressures from the old uh, self-consciousness. When you make a sin yourself, don't worry about it. We have a uh, goer. He just take care of everything. Sometimes as your father and mother and you take care of children and the financial burden. Right. Don't worry about it. And he is a restore. Even though I lost the job, I just uh, lose my position, whatever. Don't worry. He is a massive restore. And uh, everyday life, many people, we are just worrying about how can he survive or to make money or uh, just... Uh, Feel the financial aid like that? Don't worry. Calcare, he's Calcare, who is a nourisher. He will just aid or help you every day. 
and with everything he promised them. How beautiful story is that? Not only salvation story. The story of Ruth is not just uh, marrying someone and uh, she met a uh, husband and uh, live well and uh, beautiful story. It does, it, it beyonds, it tells us beyond, you know. She was included in lineage or uh, genealogy of Jesus Christ to uh, become people of God. The same thing. So Jesus is not only forgiving our sins away and solving the problem, as you know, he's a restore all our circumstance situation. We are facing difficult situation, it doesn't matter. He will restore it. His name is a restore. Meshiv. He is able to able to sustain you, sustain her. Don't worry about your future. Don't worry about every daily life and your needs. Ask him. He is our Goel who will take care of you, who will provide you all needs. Amen. So Jesus will take care of not only our, our sin problem, our daily life, our needs and everything. He is our sustainer. How a beautiful story. So we believe and go forward and uh, believe him as Goel. He is uh, our uh, real uh, uh, Redeemer. Amen.